The use of drones is just one way the U.S. military has approached unmanned combat, but the Pentagon is also exploring another way. For more, CCTV's Jim Spellman joins us from the newsroom with more. Jim. Elaine, they look like something from a science fiction movie, but they are very real, and some fear these robots could become the drones of the future. He looks like a soldier, moves like a soldier, and marches like a soldier. But underneath that camouflage uniform, Petman is something very different. Petman is a robot designed to test uniforms built by an American company called Boston Dynamics with funds from the U.S. Department of Defense. In the near future, robots like Petman and other less human-looking machines could be used to keep first responders out of harm's way during disasters like wildfires or the Fukushima nuclear disaster. But experts say it is inevitable that machines like these will one day be used in battle. It'll be a substitute for what in the past would have been a human being in a cockpit or a human being in a tank or a foot soldier. For now, most of these robots are controlled by operators, but research is focusing on creating fully autonomous robots who will make their own decisions when performing their missions. Enter Atlas. Standing nearly two meters high and weighing 150 kilograms, Atlas is being provided to eight universities and research labs for further development, including greater levels of autonomy. There's no indication that any of these robots are meant for the battlefield, but fears that fully autonomous robots could be the next major evolution in weaponry concerns groups like the Campaign to Stop Killer Robots and the United Nations, which released a report last year calling for a moratorium on lethal autonomous robots until a legal framework for their use can be established. We're headed in that direction to where machines are going to be autonomous and can make their own decisions, but who is going to be accountable? Like the drones currently in use, robots have the potential to greatly reduce the loss of life for the country that has robot superiority, something that may make conflicts easy to start and hard to finish. Americans aren't coming home in body bags because of drones, and it makes it palatable to the public. Someone's coming home in a body bag. But not us. Ultimately, what is at risk may be our humanity, as the line between weapon and warrior continues to blur. So how far is it off is it until we may see fully autonomous robots? The U.S. Department of Defense won't say how far along they are, but defense systems with varying degrees of autonomy are already in place in Israel and the demilitarized zone between the Koreas and on some U.S. naval vessels. And right now, the U.K. is testing a semi-autonomous stealth drone called Tyrannus, which can find and choose its own targets. At the moment, it is said to need an operator to make the final decision to engage a target. So still a few steps away from full autonomy, Elaine. All right, CCTV's Jim Spellman in our Washington newsroom. Thanks.